is up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i'm gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 genesis gv70 courtesy of genesis of york in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i hopped in this one today because this is a very good looking suv all-wheel drive comes standard you get america's best warranty being five years sixty thousand mile bumper to bumper 10 years 100 000 miles on the powertrain you also get three years or 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance as well so you get to save some money there right off the bat as well so that's pretty cool but anyways in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering wheel, ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there are several different trim levels for the 2023 gv70 so i'm going to put them on the screen for you guys essentially this thing is going to start at forty two thousand nine hundred dollars which by the way is approximately a 1900 dollars price bump from the 2022 model year and then the 3.5 sport prestige the top trim level is going to go for sixty four thousand nine hundred dollars and if you're curious we do have the 2.5 t all-wheel drive sport prestige with us here today so use that as a point of reference but as you can imagine with all of these trim levels that are on the screen there there are two different power plants available for the gv70 first one being the one that we have today being a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 300 horsepower at 5800 rpm 311 pound feet of torque coming in at 1600 rpm power sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately six seconds flat that's pretty darn impressive even for the uh, less powerful engine configuration that we have here so that's pretty crazy mpg numbers then coming in at 22 in the city 28 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so then there is the other engine configuration belonging to all the trim levels with a 3.5 in them of course that other engine configuration is a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged v6 putting out 375 horsepower at 5800 rpm 391 pound feet of torque coming in at 1300 rpm power sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters yet again zero to 60 time 4.9 seconds that's insane for an suv so that's pretty impressive mpg numbers coming in at 19 in the city 24 on the highway again taking premium unleaded fuel so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test in our gv70 here there is actually a little knob located in front of the uh two circular dials there it says drive mode so you will have several different drive modes actually they will include eco comfort sport sport plus custom and then there's also snow sand and mud to go along with all that some off-road driving modes there adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity braking characteristics and suspension settings actually as well so now since we are sitting at a red light what do you guys say let's go ahead and get set up let's do a paddle shifter test here first and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here all right paddle shifter test here it's not shifted for me that's awesome there we go quick yeah that'll work definitely very quick actually surprised me usually in suvs the paddle shifters aren't quick and you can't really have fun with them but you use them because when it snows out maybe you can use them for engine braking so it eliminates that risk of sliding off the road but i gotta say these paddle shifters are actually pretty darn quick so if you wanted to have a little bit of fun with them that is a possibility because they do react very quickly so to my surprise but anyways now that we got that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's find one more straightaway. Let's do a quick little acceleration test with the GV70 having full control. And let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, this might be a little bit of a rolling start. So off we go. <laughs> not bad. All right, whoa, okay. Definitely not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. Having said that, I did review the twin turbo V6 last year and that thing was ridiculous. Zero to 60 and 4.9 is insane in an SUV, but zero to 60 and six seconds flat is pretty dang good as well. That's better than the majority of SUVs. I'd probably say 95% of them are not that quick. So this thing is still insanely quick. The other engine option, like I said, is insanely quicker, but this thing is definitely gonna put a smile on your face when you hit the gas. I'll just put it that way. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, 
As always, braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes coming standard, but not only that, monoblock front brakes as well, which are typically stronger than your traditional brakes, more resistant to flex, get an improved braking feel and improved pad wear also with those monoblock brakes. So as far as braking feel goes, as I just pulled up to a red light here, it is perfectly fine. Definitely leans towards the firmer side of things. So Genesis typically does a really good job with their braking feel. So on the firmer side of things, no brake pedal delay or anything like that. So very nice braking feel to the GV70. Then touching on suspension and handling, you will find a four wheel independent suspension coming standard, but not just that. You do get an electronically controlled suspension with road preview, which essentially is like an adaptive suspension that uses a camera to scan the road for any road imperfections, giving you a much smoother ride. And quite honestly, that is the first thing I noticed when I got into the GV70, as I was just pulling out of the dealership, they had this massive bump before you get on the main road. And you could typically feel it in most cars out there, but with the GV70, it absorbed it like it was absolutely nothing. Definitely one of the smoother rides I've experienced in quite a while. And you wouldn't expect that because typically in smaller SUVs, kind of like the GV70, this isn't a GV80 or anything like that, but typically in smaller SUVs, you tend to feel a little bit more of the road. But quite honestly, in the GV70, it performs like a much larger SUV when it comes to ride quality. This is an incredibly smooth ride, and I would dare say probably even the smoothest ride as far as the size of the SUV goes. I don't, I'm not sure you can get much smoother of a ride for the size of what the GV70 is, so incredible ride quality in this thing. The touching on steering field is, of course, adjustable dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in, so that is a big win right there. And touching on cabin noise, you do get an acoustic laminated front windshield for all trim levels across the board. Also, acoustic laminated front door glass as well. Typically that front door glass lamination will come on upper trim levels of other luxury manufacturers. So I love that Genesis included that on every single trim level. You typically don't find that either. So incredibly quiet ride as well on my short little test drive here today. So honestly, when it comes to the driving dynamics on the luxury side of things, Genesis crushed it with the GV70. It's definitely feeling like you're driving a luxury vehicle, like a Rolls Royce or a Bentley, at least on the interior of this thing. It's absolutely wonderful. Then touching on visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back. You're typically not gonna have any issues with visibility, especially in smaller SUVs like the GV70. Head up display is going to come on the Sport Prestige trim level and the blind spot view monitor for the sport advanced trim level and up essentially what that is is let's say i put my turn signal on right now it is going to give me a little camera view up in the digital portion of the gauges of what is on my blind spot essentially so i absolutely love that that's definitely going to help you out with visibility there as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Genesis GV70. All right, you guys, so here she is, the new 2023 Genesis GV70 finished in uni white, which is a $575 paint option, in case you were curious or interested. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Of course, you have that traditional large aluminum front grille, which actually was designed to replicate the look of the Genesis logo, the middle portion of the Genesis logo. So that's where that story comes from. So that's pretty cool. Front air curtains down to the side, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination of course to the sides led quad beam headlights do come standard they come with led daytime running lights of course as well automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark at night the headlights will turn on automatically for you there and automatic high beams as well so if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams so you don't blind the other person then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically switch it back to high beams so definitely a convenience feature there as well and as far as that front grill goes and the surrounds it's either going to be finished in satin aluminum or gloss black so it depends upon the trim level that you go with so let's take a look down below so just taking a look at that front lip we have a gloss black front lip because we have the 2.5 sport prestige and anything with the sport in it is going to give you gloss black accents as opposed to the satin aluminum accents on some of the other trim levels so take that for an example it's going to then continue that theme around to the side and the back as well so i did want to mention that but anyways 
pretty much rounds out the front end of the GV70. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so starting all the way to the top there, you will find gloss black or satin aluminum roof rails, of course, like I was mentioning. Satin chrome window surrounds will come standard. Rear privacy glass also coming standard as well. And you gotta love, if you look at the C-pillar, the back design there, it is a very unique C-pillar design element. So it's kind of like a floating roof line, but at a very swoopy angle. So I'm kind of a big fan of that. It looks pretty darn good. Down below, just above the side skirts, again, you're either going to get satin aluminum trim or gloss black. We, of course, have the gloss black yet again. Take a look at the side mirrors. They are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated with LED integrated turret signals and power folding and puddle lights with the Genesis logo projected down to the ground at night as well. That all comes standard. That is wonderful. Genesis usually does a very good job with including a lot of standard features even on their lowest trim levels. So I'm a huge fan of that. Again, if you take a look at the door handles, and I'll actually get up a little bit closer here for you guys. Again, with that theme, you're going to get gloss black or satin aluminum kind of accents on the upper portion of those door handles. So we do have the gloss black right there as well. And one of my favorite parts, taking a look down then at the wheel setup, 18 inch alloys for the 2.5T, 19 inch alloys for the 2.5 Select, 2.5 Advanced, and 3.5, and then 21 inch alloys for the 2.5 Sport Prestige that you were looking at right now and 3.5 Sport Prestige with a very unique design. I like the indentations of these rectangles within the wheels as well. It's such a cool look. And the Genesis lettering on the calipers look pretty darn good as well. So they look like six piston front calipers actually. I don't think I mentioned it though. Definitely a very nice look to the wheel. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the side. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, and so now since we are around to the back, body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top, just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, just below that rear window wiper. Of course, you got the Genesis lettering spelled out horizontally back there as well. Thin LED taillights to kind of match the thinner look of the LED headlights up front. I love the look of that. Definitely grabs your attention for sure. Diamond pattern on that rear bumper as well. I think that is a pretty cool look, but perhaps my favorite part of the back is the exhaust and how it is integrated into that rear bumper. And so there's gonna be slightly different look when it comes to those exhaust outlets. So if you were to go with the 2.5 or 2.5 advanced, let's say you will get twin trapezoidal exhaust outlets built into that rear bumper. But if you go with the 3.5, you're gonna get twin circular integrated dual exhaust outlets and they are very large. And if you put it in that sport plus drive mode, it actually adjusts the exhaust note slightly as well. But anyways, a very, very good looking exhaust outlets, mainly because it's built into the rear bumper. I love that look. It's such a high end look. But anyways, I think you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are around to the back of the GV70, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate for every single trim level across the board. Yet again, all trims coming with that luxury feature. But other cool way to open up that tailgate, there is a button on the key fob, of course, but the coolest way, there's actually kind of a hidden button just below that rear window wiper. So it's kind of integrated into the rear window wiper. You just press that and it's gonna open up for you. So you would think it would be kind of closer to the license plate down below, but it's much simpler than that. You simply just press a button on the rear window wiper. So I absolutely love that. But anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 28.9 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, those rear seats do fold down. And by the way, there is some uh, levers in the cargo area to fold down those rear seats if you wanted to go that route. Bumping that up to 56.9 cubic feet. There is some LED cargo lighting back there, which you typically get halogens in the cargo area, but it is LEDs. And not only that, there's a cool kind of design to those LED lighting housings, I guess you could call them in the cargo area as well, which you typically don't find. So attention to detail is key. And Genesis is crushing it when it comes to that so grocery bag hooks back there tie down anchors there's some in-floor storage back there as well 12 volt power outlet and there is a giant box that came with this thing in the cargo area that i just removed that will include your cargo cover then 
as well. So that's pretty cool. But then making our way up to the rear legroom, that comes in at 37.2 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in those rear seats there. Rear center armrest with cup holders coming standard, rear ventilation also coming standard, and tri-zone climate control is actually gonna be available as well. So the rear passengers can actually set their own temperature. So that's pretty cool. But connectivity is pretty on point for the rear passengers as well. You get dual rear USB charging ports. So both kids can charge up their tablets and 120 volt power outlet back there then as well, which you almost never find. So you could charge up a drill or a hair straightener or whatever the case. So that's pretty intense. Heated rear seats coming with a 3.5 Sport Prestige trim level if you wanted to go that route. And there are some rear window sunshades also coming on the GV70. So pretty much everything you could possibly want for those rear passengers there. But anyways, then making our way up to the front seats, 12-way power driver's seat coming standard, leatherette finish coming standard, heated front seats coming standard, that's pretty cool. Leather seating for the 2.5 advanced trim level and up, quilted Napa leather for the 3.5 sport advanced, and Napa leather and a suede combination for the 3.5 sport prestige. And so with our 2.5 sport prestige, we actually have a Napa leather cloth finish. So it's a texturized cloth, so it's a pretty cool feel to it. And I will say seating was plenty comfortable, so definitely wouldn't have any issues with taking this thing on a long road trip was very easily able to find my perfect driving position in the gv70 so then making our way to the steering wheel here it is tilt and telescoping of course it is power adjustable for all trim levels it is leather wrapped for all trim levels and it is heated for the 3.5 sport advanced and 3.5 sport prestige trim levels and i will say the 10 and 2 grips are definitely on the thicker side of things which i personally prefer there as well then make our way to the startup let me uh show you guys the key here you got your genesis logo on the one side when you flip it over you got lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch there is the circular button that says hold that's going to be your remote start if you actually use that to start up the vehicle you then have the ability to use smart pack which is uh basically you just press this button to get in or out of a parking space you let it go when you want it to stop or if it gets too close to an object or a person it's going to automatically stop of course as well so that's what i'm showing you guys right now it's one of the coolest features hyundai and genesis do so i am a huge fan of that not only that if you go with one of the advanced or sport trim levels you're also going to get a digital key why is this important because this has happened to me before these key fobs nowadays are not traditional keys because everything's keyless entry with the push button start so when the battery within your key fob dies with some other manufacturers you have no option other than to call a tow truck but with hyundai they give you that digital key so you can either pull out the card that they're going to give you maybe you keep it in your wallet or you can pull out your phone and once you've downloaded the app you could just put your phone up to the door handle and it's going to lock and unlock and you put your phone on the wireless phone charger and then it is going to actually you can start it up just by using your phone if you wanted to i've done that before my hyundai sonata it's a pretty freaking cool feature but anyways now go ahead and make our way to the gauges here there is going to be a partial eight inch digital display for all trim levels but the sport prestige trim so since we have the sport prestige trim with us here today we are looking at a 12.3 inch digital 3d gauge cluster which looks absolutely amazing and of course those gauges will adjust dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in so pretty much adjust to all the drive modes almost so eco is going to give you a specific look comfort's going to give you a specific look sport is going to give you a specific look and then the second i put it into sport plus the exhaust note just deepened up so that is pretty darn cool i absolutely love that but really changes the look and again when you put your turn signals on it's going to give you that blind spot view monitor in the gauges there as well but then making our way to overall interior quality there is a power sunroof that comes for all trim levels across the board suede headliner for the sport advanced and sport prestige trim levels with the 3.5 liter at least overhead sunglass holder coming for all trim levels wireless phone charger coming for all trim levels carbon fiber trim coming with the 3.5 sport trim levels otherwise you're going to still get this very high quality aluminum trim and the 2.5 sport prestige trim that we have on the doors here i absolutely love that you can tell it's not plastic it's very high quality there multicolor ambient lighting coming standard i've already seen that it looks absolutely amazing and overall genesis absolutely crushed it as they always do you got contrast stitching located absolutely everywhere in this thing and i know you might not be able to tell but this isn't a black interior that we have it's a very dark kind of navy blue i guess you could call it which is 
absolutely amazing i love that look as well wouldn't have minded if they made it a little more vibrant quite honestly but still i like that they're switching things up a little bit there there is a little bit of storage just in front of the cup holders there's two usb charging ports in there as well of course you got your dual cup holders and within a center armrest again decent amount of storage there's a little tray area up top and a 12 volt power outlet within there and again it's all about the attention to detail just the design around the push button start and the air vents there there's also this clear circular dial to select what gear you're in and gives you a texturized finish on the perimeter of it as well even the speaker covers they're covered in aluminum so everything is very well thought out and really genesis didn't leave any details out of this thing so I absolutely love it, but one of the best parts on the interior is going to be that massive infotainment screen, 14.5 inches to be exact. And although it's a reach, it is a touchscreen display, but there is a circular dial and buttons just in front of the shift dial there. And essentially that gives you pretty much everything you could possibly want. Of course, Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. There is factory navigation system that does come standard as well. You can check out your climate control settings up there. There's something called a quiet mode, which essentially limits the volume in the front and eliminates the volume in the back. Let's say if your kids are sleeping, so you don't want to wake them up. There's also a voice memo system. So if you didn't want to forget something, it could record your voice and then you could play it back at a later date. Now, given you could do this on your smartphone as well, but still it's pretty cool to have in the GV70, so it's kind of a convenient feature there. Of course, like I was saying, you can adjust your ambient lighting settings up there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, switch it to blue since we have a slightly uh, blue interior here today, but tons, tons, absolute tons of different colors up there. That's pretty cool. But anyways, of course you can check out your radio information up there as well. And so when it comes to the sound system, six speakers is going to come standard, but there is an 18 speaker lexicon sound system that comes with the sport advanced trim levels and up. So obviously we do have that one with us here today since we have the sport prestige. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> All right, so when you put an 18 speaker sound system in a vehicle of the size of the GV70, it's gonna be absolutely insane. Ton of bass with that Lexicon sound system. 100% definitely not gonna have any issues with that. But anyways, last thing I wanna mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the GV70 in reverse, you will find an insanely high definition. Well done, Genesis. That looks better than just about all the other vehicles that I test as far as uh, the quality of the rear view camera. But you do also get a surround view monitor for the sport advanced trim levels and up, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so first, let me start by saying the GV70 is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver's knee airbag as well. Latch in the back, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. And that's all boring at this point, but also coming standard forward collision avoidance assist, lane following assist, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, which is an incredible system with both Hyundai and Genesis. It keeps you in the lane and it's always worked perfectly for me having owned a Hyundai personally. Driver attention monitoring system safe exit assist as well and if you go with the sport advanced trim levels and up you're also going to get parking collision avoidance assist in addition to all of that so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here the 3d digital gauge cluster being available like we have today is absolutely amazing i love the look of it they did a great job with that styling is great you get tons of luxury on the interior where most other manufacturers will overlook a lot of what genesis has included so i'm a big fan of that safety is the best you can get according to ihs at least incredibly powerful twin turbo v6 but even the 2.5 liter turbocharged engine is incredibly powerful as well the tech is great just taking into account the digital gauge cluster and the 14 plus inch screen up front as well the digital key like they always do a very good job with the technology in this thing and you get the 100,000 mile powertrain warranty to be included in all of that as well so really I try to give constructive criticism. There isn't much I got with the GV70, quite honestly. The only thing I could think of is maybe one vibrant interior color. So I like the blue. I like the blue that we have today, and maybe a more vibrant blue, like maybe what Volvo does with their new C40 Recharge or something like that. So a little splash of color on the interior, like you did with the seatbelts. The seatbelts are great. I love the red seatbelts. But anyways, 
Let me know what you guys think of the GV70 in the comment section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Bye.